couple of weeks ago, I went to a wedding. I'm not the most enthusiastic wedding attender. I find a lot of time taken up in things in which I'm not involved and long time waiting for my food. But this was special. This was the wedding of my eldest grandson. And uh, I was very much looking forward to it. And he was married up in Yorkshire. And uh, so we went up for the wedding and uh, it was a nice service. It was in a little Anglican church with a lady vicar, but she did a great job at the service. And they'd asked me to read some scriptures, which I enjoyed doing. But my grandson and his uh, fiance, now his wife, not walking with the Lord. So that was a bit of a disappointment. I know they will eventually, but right now they're not. And I was thinking about how, although I'm not a great attender at weddings enthusiastically, I love weddings from a biblical perspective. I love them because God loves them. God loves a wedding. In fact, God invented weddings. God was the overseer at the first wedding when he brought Eve to Adam. And Moses comments, for this reason a man shall leave his father and his mother and shall cleave to his wife and the two shall become one flesh. It was at a wedding that Jesus performed his first miracle where he turned water into wine and showed that he's here to cause people to rejoice and be happy and to know fulfillment. And the Bible says he revealed his glory and his disciples believed on him. And then of course the scripture tells us that the church is the bride of Christ. And when Paul does his teaching on Christian marriage, he quotes Moses and says, for this reason a man shall leave his father and his mother and cleave to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery, says Moses, but I'm speaking about Christ and his church. And then of course, when we get to the purpose of God and its fulfillment, we find that the wedding of the lamb has come and the bride has made herself ready. So human redemption begins with a wedding. A relationship with Christ is revealed as a wedding and salvation history climaxes with a wedding. Weddings are the very foundation of society and the foundation of our Christian faith. We should never take them lightly. We should never dismiss them easily. We should never replace them with anything else, whether a believer or an unbeliever. Weddings are important things because whether we know it or not, we are showing forth the relationship with Jesus and his church. It was a good wedding that I went to, but I'm praying that it will be a great marriage. I pray that yours too will be a great marriage that glorifies God.